Okay, so I just finished doing some schoolwork and I was originally gonna film in here. I'm in like a library right now, but it's a Friday and I don't wanna be here anymore. So I'm gonna go downtown and get some air and I'm gonna talk about how I fell back in love with reading. And of course, give you guys some tips to develop a reading habit too. But yeah, I need to get my air, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> Ooh, I want you to come through. I know somebody who loves you and drop the obligations when you got no one to run to. I know you got a past, but I got one too. And that don't change the fact that I want you. Wake up, good morning, with you I actually mean it. Had to pinch my other arm, convince myself I ain't still dreaming. I'm with you, can't nothing face. All right, so at the National Mall, check out the Capitol right here. In today's video, I want to talk about how I redeveloped my reading habit and how I fell back in love with reading. I guess just for some quick backstory, so in the sixth grade, I really started to like consistently read books. And I really like had this great habit of reading for I would say around like six to seven years. But then last year, I kind of stopped reading altogether. And it was mainly because like, I didn't really feel like I had enough time. But then also like, it was my first time on a college campus and just like my whole mindset changed. But over the summer, I was in LA, I had like an internship and I really picked up my habit of reading again. And so I really wanna share like some tips and tricks for how you can potentially develop your reading habit. Or if this is like your first time trying to get into reading, then these tips will definitely help you. Okay, so the first thing that I did was I stopped trying to finish every book that I read. And I think from our educational system, we get this mindset that we have to finish the book in order to like successfully complete the book. But a tip that I got from Naval Ravikant, he's a founder in Silicon Valley, he founded AngelList. But something that he said was that you really shouldn't try to finish books. Because if you think about it, our ways of consuming information has totally changed in the past 10 or 20 years. Now, like we have YouTube, we have TikTok, we have all of these social media apps and we have different ways of consuming our information. And like, if you think about it, on a YouTube video, if you go through a boring video, you're not gonna finish the video, you're gonna click off the video. And so when you're reading a book and you feel like it's getting boring, you shouldn't try to finish the book. You should instead just drop the book and move on to another book. And so instead of trying to finish the book, you should really pick a moment in the book that you wanna read. And then if you feel like you got what you want from the book, then you can move on to another book. And so my second tip is to really think of reading as like your personal quiet time away from like the world or just like social media. I was recently reading an article and it said that the average person spends around two hours and 30 minutes on social media. And so like when you're spending that much time on social media, and then like, especially like just on your phone, there's just a lot of stimulation that you're getting. And this is why like a lot of people feel anxious because like we're always on our phones, we're always like on the screen and like we have trouble really taking in all of that information because we're not used to that. We've been existing for thousands of years and we've had these devices for like 10 or 20 years. And so we're not used to the stimulation that we get from these devices. And so like when you're reading a book, this is a good time to really like put your device down and like just read and be in the moment. And so when I read, I think of it as like taking ownership of my life because I'm choosing to not go on my device or have my headphones on or anything like that. I'm choosing to really take control of my life and be in the moment. And I also think of reading as like being mindful too. I know a lot of people, they talk about mindfulness and meditation and like you don't have to sit and like close your eyes to meditate. You can read and like be in your own quiet space and that can be a way for you to practice mindfulness. And so again, it's like the same concept, like what you get from mindfulness is also what you get from reading. You're getting that calmness and you're getting that ownership. And so I would say that shift of mindset has helped me to read more and really enjoy the process. And so you may be thinking, well, okay, Kenya, like I get that reading is great for mindfulness and like, okay, I won't read cover to cover, but like, how do I really make time for reading? I would say if you really want to develop a reading habit, the first thing that I would do is I would read for 15 minutes every day for a week. And the reason why I say 15 minutes, like understand that as people were really busy. I'm busy as a college student. There are people that are working jobs, multiple jobs. And so there is like a lack of time in the day, but for the most part, like everyone has 15 minutes in a day. And I think like 
The social media statistic proves that. If you spend just 15 minutes a day reading a book, number one, that's not a lot of pressure, like 15 minutes isn't that much. And also like it gives you the option to like test out if reading is actually for you. And so that's why I also say like, just do it for a week and then reflect. Because honestly, like reading may not be for everyone. If you just read for 15 minutes for a week and then you reflect on how you feel, then you can really get a sense of like, if you enjoy reading or if maybe like this isn't the way that you wanna spend your free time. So those are my three tips for personally, like how I've built up my reading habit again and how you can too. So let me know in the comments if you guys are trying to, you know, build up a reading habit and let me know how it goes. I would really love to hear. But yeah, thank you for watching until the end. I really appreciate it. And feel free to like, subscribe, and also don't watch another video. Go and read, please. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. You're the only one I see. Think that I'm addicted, need you standing next to me all the time.